Hello, I'm going to show you how to save a Photoshop file and a JPEG photo in Photoshop. So I have my image in here. Here's all my layers. And the first thing I'm going to do when I'm ready to save it as a Photoshop file, because if I want to go back to all of my hard work, which is all these layers, I need to save it as a Photoshop file, okay? Which is important because until, it, let's say if you're a student, you, you want to get your feedback from your teacher if there's an issue, you need to go back to these layers and fix it rather than starting all over again from scratch. So I'm going to go up to here to File. I'm going to go Save As. And for me, depending on what version you have, I have to select if it's going to go to the cloud or on my computer. I want it to go to my computer. And right here it comes up. I'm going to go to Downloads. I want it to save the Downloads. I'm going to select a new folder right here and call it whatever the name of the assignment is. So let's call this High School Pride. Okay, create that. And now, right here, you're going to see this file right here. And I'm going to simply put in front of it, edit. This is my edited version with a little uh, dash there, okay? Never change the period, the dot and the extension, the PSD. Never erase that, otherwise it will mess up your file, okay? So the format Photoshop file, which is what I want, and I'm gonna select Save and OK. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna save this as a JPEG to show my work, okay? So if you're a student, you might be showing this online, or if you just wanna you know, do something online, you want to probably save it as a JPEG so that everyone can see it. You know, you, most people are not going to want to see a, a Photoshop file as big, and then not all browsers will look at that. So with my students, I use Canvas. If you're one of my students, you're going to be saving your work to Canvas online, and so you need a smaller picture. So right here, I'm going to go to Image. Right here, Image Size. I'm going to make sure that pixels, it's usually on inches. I'm gonna make sure that pixels are selected. And I'm gonna to go to the biggest one here, which is 3,088, and I'm gonna change that to 1,000. And I'm gonna select OK. Now I'll make the image a lot smaller. I'm gonna go Command-0 on my Mac, which will make the photo full size. And if you're using the wrong keyboard, but you're on a Mac, you can go to that Windows zero and that's the shortcut to make it full screen now when i'm here now that i made it smaller for online i don't have a big image i need to also though flatten all the layers depending what version you may not need to do this but i'm going to flatten the image so all the layers go together but be careful not to save over my photoshop image though discard hidden layers i'm going to say okay so now there's only one layer and i'm going to save it as a jpeg so i'm going to go up here to file Save as, I'm going to save it on my computer, and I already have the name there. I just need to change the format. This is important. I'm going to change this to JPEG. I do not want to save over my Photoshop file because I got rid of all the layers, all my hard work. So now that it's JPEG, I'm going to select, and it's going to go back in that same folder, High School Pride. I'm going to hit Save. And anything, if it's online, 8 quality is fine. So right here, I can change the quality. 8 is good. So I'm going to go OK. And I'm done saving it. So I can exit out of this one now. I do not need to save anything else. I can go and look at my images right here. Go to Downloads. Look at my high school pride folder I made. And right here are the two images. I can even change this to icons and I can see both of them. And right here, this JPEG is what I would be using for the assignment if you're one of my students. Okay.